Wake you up in the morning. Welcome to video two, part two of year two of the Woodward East trip. Right? I think that made sense. And day two. Yeah, and day two. <laughs> Last year, I made a couple of videos out here at, Wood at Woodward East in Pennsylvania. A lot of, I mean, the skate park's the same, so a lot of the content is similar. There's one park thing that I never explored last year when I was here. It's this crazy little asphalt pump track that for some reason just never had the time to go over and check it out. I think my favorite thing at Woodward East is that crazy orange pump track in the middle of everything. This one's a little bit different. It's like an asphalt material, so it's not quite as smooth or as satisfying. I thought it could be fun to film a video. Just dedicated to this and have some fun and try to cruise around. All right, let's test it out. Much leg energy to use. Oh my god. You should try to air over this one. That one? Yeah. Just like do what you just did, except over. Oh man, alright. Something about like popping off of things that aren't kickers, because they're like they're rollers, you know? It's even like at the, the backyard skate park how we have that hump. You can pop off it, but if you miss the pop, it just flings you. Alright, I'm gonna try I'm just gonna jump it once and just feel the pop out. That worked. I just know I'm gonna get speed and miss the pop completely. One half send, and then one full send. Imagine if someone was following you filming when you kick out like that. That'd be so bad, That imagine. would suck, wouldn't it? I can't wait to show that again. <laughs> I bet your skin is somewhere on the ground over there. Yeah, probably. All right, full send. I'm either gonna fall or I'm committing. There's no kicking out. I don't know how many of them are poppable because like that one's an actual kicker and then these look like you can clear them. So that'd be so sick, just like, whoo, whoo, like oh, people on bikes like, do it, you know what yeah. I mean? Do a little grab at the top. Of that one? Yeah, you, I mean it looks pretty, it looks like you got enough air to do it. I haven't grabbed my board <laughs> in so long. <laughs> It reminds me a lot, if you've been watching this channel for years, the old, it's called Jose Avenue Skate Park in Santa Cruz. It reminds me exactly of that kicker. And like when I was 14, 15, I used to always do like these tweaked melon grabs. This video gets uh, 2,000 likes. I'll try dropping into the vert ramp, I think. I'm gonna start out with just a little, a little baby indie grab, and then maybe a melon, and then we'll just, we'll work our way around. I'm so not used to grabs. Just that, that's all it is. Why is that so different? It's really just an ollie, but the second I think about the grab, it throws everything off. If I don't commit to this one, you can leave the video, close the YouTube app, unsubscribe if you want, dislike it actually. Unfollow me on Facebook Gaming, don't watch my streams anymore. Unfollow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. If you need to follow me first before you unfollow me, you can find those links in the description down below. But uh, my career essentially relies on this. If I don't land this one, I'm not gonna have an audience left, so I'll give it everything I got. That was sick. I just imagine like anyone that actually skates transition watching this be like a foot off the ground. <laughs> it was fun, okay? Oh, God. Ow! Ah! A bee went into my eye! Ow! Bro, it's like, it went into my eyeball and I just <laughs> saw it there and it stuck for a second. It all looks like slow motion. I see it. I'm like, oh, it's gonna go away. I just see it get closer and closer. It's like, and just sticks there, then it goes <laughs> Oh, Dude, imagine getting stung in the eyeball. That would suck. Especially if you're allergic, just lose your eye. <laughs> wow. I'm glad it didn't happen in the air. That would have panicked. I think the only ones that I can actually clear are that one, because that one has a big kicker to it. That one's too gnarly, like at 20 feet. So one, I could probably get this one, and then I want to get this one, but those two are quick. I want to start out just going one, two, and see if I can get that. Dude, my legs are cut out for this. Oh my god. I get why it's called a pump track though. You land one, you have to absorb it and then push for the next one. I guess that's what a pump track is. If you could skate, say like six hours, like a street session or like a session at the barracks or like a plaza, you could skate there for six hours. What's the equivalent on a pump track? Two laps. Yeah. <laughs> 
15 minutes. For real though, I can have like a, a street skate session. Like I take like breaks and grab water and stuff, but five, six, seven hour days. Yeah. We've been here for what, 45 minutes? I'm so beat. I got like one more try in me before my legs give up. So it's all or nothing right here. I'm going the whole nine yards, all three gaps. All right, bud. I got 10 on this one. The whole thing? Yeah, you couldn't do it for five, so maybe you can do it for 10. All or nothing, Gabe. That's it. My legs are done. They shut off. Disabled until further notice. Actually, wait. I want to try something. Feel this. Grab my wheel. Full, full fish, just grab it. Yo. It's like actually <laughs> like physically hot to touch from the friction. That's gnarly. All right, send her, buddy. Eight fifty, baby. <laughs> Eight dollars fifty cents more. Let's go. So now you only lost twelve bucks on go karts. <laughs> In the last Woodward video, I bet him twenty bucks that I'd win in go karts, and I lost. <laughs> We're taking a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having allergies. I just took an leave. We're taking a little break from skating because my legs feel like jello right now. But earlier today, before we started filming this video, we were trying to get an iPhone clip of that pump track that we've been we've been filming on all day. And of course the iPhone clip means that you know Gabe's doing the pump track behind me, holding my phone, and we're using the wide angle lens on my phone. So you gotta get close, like two feet I would say, to make it look cool. It was before I was comfortable with the jumps but I thought we'd try it. And I popped, kicked out, and my board just landed ever so perfectly. How is there a helicopter? This is the first helicopter in the two days we've been here, and of course it's right when we're filming outside. Long story short, I kicked out, my board rolled down the end of the pump track right as Gabe was going. You can kind of see, I post on my Instagram story, he just hits it, falls forward, and because the next bump is right there, he just goes boom, and just smashes into it. Terrible situation, Gabe, I'm sorry. I'm saying it to the camera when you're right behind the camera. <laughs> Gabe, I'm sorry. The only plus side about that shitty situation, besides Gabe being okay, minus a couple cuts and bruises, is that it was filmed. I want to hear it from from your side of the story. I want to I want to hear Gabe's version. What was going through your head? So it was like the I had pumped the track like three times just to get comfortable with what the track felt like, and Garrett was going around it, and he like ollied that jump or like the gap. He had tried uh, like a few times before and was landing it, and we were like, all right, let's do it. And so we did it once, and we got it, but I was too far away, so I had to go faster. And so on the second one, like I was on his ass, <laughs> and he and so. So the gap's here and he always and kicks out and at the landing of the jump, his board just landed upside down and sideways. And so I was going- <laughs> It was just a perfect blockade. So it just, blo I couldn't go anywhere. And so on my way down, I saw it. And so at the top, I just jumped and I just landed like feet to knee to like shoulder and then like rolled. It wasn't fun. My knees hurt. Let me see My the let's see the aftermath here. I mean, it's not awful. Yeah, but neither of those were there before. <laughs> yeah. Were they? Well, yeah, the holes are not there. Uh, my hand got some gravel in there, so I jumped off the top of it in the air. Phone still in hand. I landed and then went to my knees and then went like this. And then that's where this one hit like this and I ended up like that. And the phone was in this hand. So you see my foot just like this and I ended up like rolling that way. Gabe's the MVP though. I forget the exact situations, but Gabe's fallen a fair, like a fair amount of times while we're filming. And he will always make sure that a body part hits the ground before the camera. No matter what he's holding, he will eat shit to save the camera. It's every time he's ever fallen, he will do what it takes to keep the camera alive. <laughs> I don't even think I tried. It's just like, as I'm holding it, I just cradle and just let my body take it. MVP. I just really don't want to hit the dirt and just go 
and stick. How about you send, I feel it out first? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm holding a camera. It looks hard. That's what she said, God damn it. I'll let it slide this one, Gabe. I don't know if I can roll on this. If you clip, you're done. I guess it's not that big of a gap. It's just the consequences of not clearing it that scare me. I guess realistically only have one try. So if I don't land it, I'm done. Yeah. If I land it, thumbs up the video. Por favor, gracias. camera because I wanted to get it for Instagram. I got the kickflip into that sketchy little bank thing. If you want to go show that post some love on my Instagram, at Garrett Jenner, go comment saying like pickles and sriracha or something and then I'll know that you came from this video. But that'd be good. Pickles and sriracha? I don't like pickles. I mean, but you like weird shit so probably do you. Pickles and sriracha sounds good. This is kind of bigger than I thought. I guess it's the, the same, same as that but... It's the same like height but steeper I think. Yeah. I want to like Make sure the dirt's okay. I think I could go all the way. Yes! If you guys liked the video, thumbs up. I'm having the time of my life out here at Woodward East in Pennsylvania. Woodward, thank you for having me. I'm very glad you guys have a hot tub. I think you should invest in some personal on-site masseuses, massage therapists, that'd be a good addition. Subscribe, I post videos every Friday, filming a bunch of other content out here at Woodward East. I'll see you guys on my gaming channel, all my social media links in the description. I'll see you guys here next Friday. Yeah, hi bud. Now. <laughs>